मार्शियलियन डिमांड फंक्शन वट इज द मार्शियलियन डिमांड फंक्शन इट मीन्स द कंज्यूमर डिमांड वॉज स्टडेड देन दैट पर्टिकुलर बिहेवियर दैट वॉज एक्सप्लेन बाय डॉक्टर जॉन मार्शल इट दैट वॉज डिस्क्राइब इन एटीन एटी फोर दैट वॉज कॉल्ड पर्टिकुलरली द मार्शियलियन डिमांड फंक्शन so the marshallian demand function is basically a mathematical relationship that relates the price of the good demanded to its price and at the same time we can say that it shows the quantities demanded of the good at various times and at various places and at various price of the same commodity but holding the income and the price of the other goods constant as we know that the change in the price it will change the purchasing power of the consumer so when the purchasing power of the consumer it will become in the way that if the price has increased it means decline in the purchasing power if price of the commodity has decreased it means the total purchasing power of the consumer has increased ya agar is tarah main kehna chahu to wo ye hoga ki keemat ab ek cheez ki jab kam hoti hai to na to us consumer ki income badhti hai lekin us keemat ke kam hone se jitne wo uske unit pehle khareed kar raha tha agar ek cheez ki keemat 10 rupaye hai aur uske paas उसको एलोकेटेड बजट उसने रखा हुआ था कि मैंने छह यूनिट खरीद रहे हैं तो उसको साठ रुपए लगते थे लेकिन जैसे ही उस कमोडिटी की कीमत दस की बजाय आठ रुपए हो जाती है और वो पिछले छह यूनिट की खरीदता है तो अब कंज्यूमर के लिए पॉसिबल है कि वो उतने ही यूनिट लेकिन फोर्टी एट रुपीज में खरीद कर लेगा इसका मतलब ये है कि नाउ द कंज्यूमर के पास पिछले साठ रुपए में से जो बारह रुपए बचे हैं ये अब उसकी परचेजिंग पावर में इंक्रीमेंटल एडिशन है इसी तरीके से चेंज इन प्राइस में जब इंक्रीज हो जाए तो उसकी अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट ऑफ परचेज की वजह से उसकी परचेजिंग पावर कम हो जाती है कीपिंग द नॉमिनल इनकम कॉन्स्ट इस कॉन्सेप्ट में वेन वी से द मार्शीलियन डिमांड तो हम उसका जो चेंज है परचेजिंग पावर का उसको कोई कंपनसेशन नहीं करते मीन अगर उसकी परचेजिंग पावर ऑफ द कंज्यूमर कम हो जाती है तो उसको उसको कंपनसेट करने के लिए एक्स्ट्रा अमाउंट नहीं दी जाती और अगर उसकी परचेजिंग पावर बढ़ जाती है मीन द रियल इनकम तो वो उससे वापस नहीं ली जाती सो मार्शीलियन डिमांड फंक्शन में नॉमिनल इनकम इट रिपेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट सो दिस Marshallian demand function is also called uncompensated demand function. Or Marshallian demand function जो है ये हमें provide करता है solution through the indirect utility function. अब अगर हम देखें तो indirect utility function क्या है तो actually the indirect utility function it tells that in the Marshallian demand curve consumer attains the utility not through the utilization of a commodity rather he attains the utility through the consumption or the expenditure on the commodity mean consumer ka jo consumption hai wo usko apni amount ko kharch karke ek tarah ki utility milti hai means kyunki wo ikhrajat ya wo expenditure जो कि कंज्यूमर अपनी डिमांड को अटेन करने के लिए कर रहा है वो लॉ ऑफ बजट के तहत हमें कभी भी पॉसिबल नहीं है कि वो उसकी इनकम को एक्सीड कर दें तो इट मींस वी कैन असेस द डिमांड बिहेवियर नॉट ओनली फ्रॉम द साइड ऑफ द कमोडिटी क्वांटिटी, रादर वी कैन मैयर और वी कैन असेस ऑल्सो थ्रू द चेंज इन द एक्सपेंडिचर utilize to attain that quantity so it is possible to solve the necessary conditions of a utility maximization 
so when we are dealing with the utility maximization we already know that the consumer is always in a better way utilizing not only one good rather he prefers to utilize a complete bundle so in this case now the optimal level that the consumer is having that is amount of various combination of the x commodity that is 1 2 and up to n mean it is the multi good case and when it is expressed in the form of mathematical notation we can have that now the consumer is having the demand function that depends upon the price of x and price of 2 3 4 5 n and the income of the consumer now if we will see the demand function for the commodity 2 it will again will be similar and like this we can have any sort of the demand function for any commodity depending upon the prices of all the commodities and the income of the consumer but now we see for the simplicity if we take only two commodities we can say now that these are the different forms of the demand functions and now these demand they depend upon the values of all the prices and now we can predict that how much of this x commodity it can a consumer can attain with the change in his expenditure with the change in the price so when we have to calculate this we can see that number 1 there will be this demand function and this demand curve is expressed holding the prices of this price and income constant and even the preferences or all the other taste constant so we will put a bar up to this and when we include this only the change of one price to this it mean that is the partial equilibrium analysis keeping all other things constant so either we are dealing with the two good case either we are dealing with the multi good case whatever but at that particular time of the analysis we will deal with only one change of that commodity keeping all other factors constant that's why this marshallian demand function is also called parshallian equilibrium analysis and the partial equilibrium analysis approach and sometime it is also called walrus analysis or the walrus approach similar to walrus when we are dealing with the general equilibrium model